Hello and welcome to Learning with Lulu. In today's video, we are going to do a very quick summary of chapter 13 in Frankenstein. Essentially, this chapter is when the creature learns history, learns language, and it's almost like he's getting an elementary education. The reason for this being, one day, this woman, dressed in black, arrives on horseback with a guide, and her arrival brings everyone a lot of joy, especially Felix. Felix, I get the sense that he loves this woman. Her name is Safi, S-A-F-I-E, and we know that she is Arabian because that's the word that the creature hears and that's how he frequently refers to her throughout this chapter. It's springtime, uh, the creature, he can't spend as much time on his nighttime romps uh, because the sun sets later and rises earlier, but he loves, he's loving the spring. It's beautiful. There's even a lion that I really loved. He said, in the meanwhile, also the black ground was covered with herbage and the green banks interspersed with innumerable flowers, sweet to the scent and the eyes. And then this is the part I love stars of pale radiance among the moonlight woods. I just thought that was very pretty. So, it's springtime, the creature's loving it, things, the world is coming into bloom, and also the cottages, cottagers are happier. Uh, the cottagers are teaching Safi how to speak their language, and that's how the creature is learning, because as she is learning, he's learning too. There's also this kind of cute moment where he's like, I can boast a little bit, I think I was a faster learner than she was. He also, at the very end of the chapter, explains that he learns a bit about how families are structured and the differences between male and female and the roles of father and mother and child and all of these things. And he feels wretched because he knows he hasn't had any of that. He knows that his physical form is different. He doesn't know who his creator was or what his, the point of his creation is. And so he is, he's feeling very torn. He also, he keeps on calling the cottagers his protectors. And at the very end of the chapter, he implies that at that time, out of this very innocent, self-deceiving self way, um, he, he believes them to be his protectors. And that's a very quick summary of chapter 13 of Frankenstein. If you have any questions or comments about this chapter, please make sure to comment down below. And if you do have questions, then I'll do my best to answer them if they're relating to this chapter. And then also if you just have thoughts about occurrences in this chapter, then I love having that conversation and talking about it too. So be sure to do that. Also make sure to like this video if you're still watching, subscribe to the channel to show your thanks, and share with friends or classmates to help benefit them if they may also be in need of a summary of chapter 13 in Frankenstein. So, all of that being said, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back around. Bye.